afternoon, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Awesome. The applause is deafening. Um, <laughs> So, uh, hi, my name is David Ahrens. Um, I only have this on because uh, it's my fourth day or so out in the sun and I'm turning fairly lobsterish. So, um, it's great to see you. Uh, this is the first ever of, uh, a concert we're calling River Song. Uh, this began last year. This was going to be a combined Bear River band and choir performance uh, that was going to be the, the new ongoing yearly event. Um, but then everything wasn't, and so it didn't happen last year. Uh, this year, in addition to Bear River's uh, responsibilities, I've taken on um, being the, the band and choir director at Magnolia Intermediate School, uh, which has been a lot of fun, although a little weird, again, with Zoom and everything. Um, and so, since we're allowed to have this one performance this year, uh, we're going to make the most of it, so we changed it from River Song to River Song Grand Concert, and it's going to involve everybody from the street. We've got uh, Bear River Jazz Band here that is actually Bear River and Magnolia. So we have a raise your hand if you're a Magnolia student. Woo! All right. So we have, raise your hand if you've ever been a Magnolia student. Okay, right. So, so we have the, uh, the Bear River Jazz Band featuring some Magnolia students. Uh, we'll then hear from the Magnolia Chorus, uh, the Magnolia Choir, raise your hands. Yep. Then, then we're going to hear from Magnolia Green and Gold Band that are partially back there. Raise your hands, guys. Yep. Then we're going to hear from the Bear River Choir, Be Our Voices. It's back there. Then we're going to hear from a subgroup of that, uh, Jazz Unlimited or JU, uh, who's other people back there. Uh, and then finally, well, not finally, then we're going to hear from the Symphonic Band, which has made up a lot of these people, but they'll be moved. And finally, we'll hear from all of them all together. Now, on your seats, uh, or near your seat, there's those papers that are, uh, it, it was really windy a little bit ago, and the kids went and taped those down, and then mo a lot of them, I think, blew away. Um, but there's that QR code. If you scan that with your phone, you should be able to somehow pop up the uh, concert program so you can keep along with what's happening. Um, anyhow, we're going to get started. This is the jazz band, and this is Sudden Sam. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you. And that uh, featured Eric Romero on the alto sax. Uh, we had Darren Nelson on the trumpet and Noah Dunhauer on the trombone. Georgia Brown, and uh, we had some similar uh, soloists on that. Uh, did we start with Eric again? No? <laughs> that was Noah Dunhauer on trombone. Uh, we had Darren Nelson on trumpet. We had uh, Sabrina Mantooth on trumpet. And uh, we had a little bit of Josh on drums. Uh, I wanted to uh, point out one other person um, who's filling in today uh, because we don't have a bass player, and that is my wife Susie Ahrens, uh, who's playing tuba. Uh, as our bass section, so thanks, Susie. And I was going to say that this group, as it is right now, played together for the very first time in the history of mankind yesterday, um, but actually, uh, I have to change my script because it's actually today because it's the first time we've had Susie playing. Um, so this is, uh, the, you know, as, as I don't have to tell any of you guys, but there's been a lot of really rough things we have to get through, and um, performing, uh, you know, working out a performing arts group, uh, uh, 
a sound group, <laughs> horns and singers and all that kind of stuff, is pretty rough over the internet. Um, with, uh, with latency in the lines, you know, you see those things on YouTube with all the squares, looks like Hollywood squares, but they're all singing or playing an instrument. Um, that's all done in post-production. Uh, that doesn't happen live because there's lag on the internet lines and you can't do that. Uh, and so uh, we have to practice all this stuff individually, uh, you know, in bedrooms, just working it out by themselves. We've got some software which makes it a little easier, but it's not the same thing. Uh, and then we've only just recently been able to get together, but not everyone, because we still have some kids that are on distance learning. Uh, and so we've just, for the very first time, put together this group. So I'm really proud of everything that they've done. And of course, that actually, that same story goes for everybody on the field. Um, but, uh, but that's the case here. So uh, we have one more song. We have one more song from the jazz band, and uh, it is called uh, Blue Serenade. And this is going to feature Sabrina and Noah. He's like, yeah, I'll do it, sure. <laughs> a little bit of Noah. Who, anybody else have one on here? I just, oh, and Eric. I, I forget. I have so many things to think about, I forget about who's doing what. Okay, so uh, and if, any, if anybody else is featured, I'll point them out later. turnover at Magnolia. Uh, it's my first year there. Raise your hand if, uh, for those of you in the choir, if this is your first year singing with Magnolia Choir. Okay, so <laughs> raise your hand if it's your second year. Yay! So, 
So, uh, oh, I didn't raise my hand. This is my first year with them too. So, uh, <laughs> we have we have one ranking member, and, and all the rest of us are new. Uh, we're going to do uh, three songs. The middle one, we're going to have uh, be our voices from Bear River uh, sing along with us, uh, just for fun. And uh, so this is uh, in order. The first one's called In the Arms of an Oak. The second one is called Peter Piper. And the third one is called Painless Opera. And um, it, it's mostly painless. Uh, we will see. That's featuring Cooper Waters um, with a little foreshadowing about mostly painless. Here we go. That's not a cut either. You'll see.
we decided on choreography just a couple of weeks ago, and then we told the high school about it less than that, and then we did it one time earlier today, so um, it was awesome. All right, next up is uh, Painless Opera, which uh, I know you're wondering. <clears throat> for this next song, but we're going to play it anyway. This is called The Tempest, and we were really living this uh, as it, uh, earlier today. It was windy and rainy and all kinds of stuff on us. Um, but um, this is Green and Gold Band from Magnolia. We are going to be featuring quite a bit of the symphonic band as well, because they wanted to play it too, because they're like, oh, I remember playing that song. Um, so since they're sitting right there, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, this, is, this is Green and Gold Band featuring some of symphonic band on The Tempest.
right, and next up we have Ghost Riders in the Sky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a classic. Um, and uh, this is featuring the same group. So this is Green and Gold Band featuring some some fun. on our list, you guys can keep me honest out there, um, so we just had that, we just had that, yeah, we should be to Be Our Voices, and um, we have uh, two songs by uh, this group alone, and then we have some other things happening, but, uh, so this first one is um, Anus Dei, uh, which is in Latin, um, and then later on we'll hear a Latin song that's in English, so that's interesting, but... <laughs> But uh, no, this one, it's a cappella, and it's in Latin, and um, it is, we're really, really far away from you to have like 14 voices singing a cappella in a different language. So um, we're very thankful for, for Aaron Beatty and the, um, the tech crew that's here. So thank you guys for being here and creating all of our sound and recording this. Incidentally, for those of you that have family um, that, are, that are not able to be here because of the rules, um, that up until this morning, the plan was to have live stream, um, but the internet, we couldn't, there's something weird going on in, at this, uh, at the field, and we couldn't get the internet to work. Um, so, but it is all being recorded, uh, video and audio, so uh, th that will be available. So all people that weren't able to be here live will be, and of course, also you, uh, will be able to watch that video later. So, um, here we go, this is VR Voices with Anu Stadium.
I just wanted to uh, acknowledge our choral accompanist as well, this is uh, Miss Andrea Fox. Uh, she <laughs> accompanying for uh, the Magnolia Choir and Bear River as well as JU, which uh, we're going to hear uh, one song now, the aforementioned uh, Latin song in English. There's a little bit of Spanish, but this is honestly the... the um, uh, I mean, cheating's not the right word, but like the scared to do the real one. <laughs> if we had, this is the COVID version. That's what it is. If we were doing this where we actually had rehearsal every day and we're singing all year long, we'd be doing the whole thing in Spanish. But as it is, some of the words are in Spanish, some of them are in English, and uh, we'll let you figure it out which one's which. All right, this is Ju, and this is Besame Mucho. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm going to see We've made it to the sales pitch part of the concert, guys. So, um, we got a cloud. I'll take this off. Woo! This hat makes me really self conscious for obvious reasons. <laughs> I got two people laughing. That's all I care about. <laughs> all right. So, a um, couple of things. First off, um, if you are able, and if you are wanting to, um, we are definitely accepting donations for both music programs. Um, if you are, um, had, you know, troubled times for many, um, and if it's not a good time, that's fine. But we have, uh, as a music department, we were getting ready for, I don't know if you know the, the cycle of Bear River, but we were getting ready for something called Fantasy of Stars. It was one week away when they closed school down. We were ready to go. We had Enterprise High School coming down. We were all set for this big show. And that's three nearly sold out houses of income that we didn't get. Uh, not to mention all the disappointment in the kids that didn't get to perform all that show that they, were, that they did. Um, we didn't have Putting on the Ritz last year. We didn't have Bruins of Note last year. Um, we didn't have the Swing Dance this year. We didn't have our winter concerts. We, so this is the way that, as a music pro, there are two ways that we make money to keep ourselves going. Because it does, sadly, I wish it was just like, oh, let's go make music and it's just free. But like, it actually costs quite a bit of money uh, to do the trips that we do, which we haven't done in a year. But normally, we do trips and things. Um, sheet music is expensive. Instruments, instrument repair, which is... Uh, not, not just a matter of like, well, be careful, you know, yeah, we'd we be careful, but they need to be maintained, um, and it's, a, it's an investment that needs to have, you know, if a kid plays on it for a year, it needs to go into the shop and sort of get a once-over, and that all costs money, and so um, I lied a moment ago, and I just looked at, <laughs> I looked at Mr. Roberts, I'm like, oh, I better say the third way. There's three ways we make money. Let's start with the smallest one. So the district gives us money. <laughs> We do have a really small program right now, and I'm hoping that we can grow. Well, we will grow, but um, that is one thing. The district money is based on numbers, and so if you, have, if you have siblings, if you have friends, if you have people you haven't ever seen before and you don't really care if they think you're weird and you just go up to them and say, hey, you should join choir. I think you'd be great in band. You look like a tuba player. Um, we, we, need, we, we could use some more bodies, middle school and high school, to get that, those numbers up, and that'll help us from the district money standpoint, because the funding we get is based on how many kids are in the program. Beyond that, though, um, we make money from the concerts, ticket sales, and then we make money from the Bear River Music, uh, yeah, I said it right, Bear River Music Boosters. Uh, this is a group that's been around, it used to be the band boosters, and then when I took over the choir, we merged it, so it's band and choir now, Bear River Music Boosters, and it's a 501c3, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> While they're getting ready, um, we don't have a, like, go to a website and put your credit card in thing, but if you want to just write a check payable to Magnolia uh, or to Bear River and give it to your kid and we can put and, and we can put it into the band require or band require uh, fund at the schools, we would very much appreciate it to try and make up the loss that we've sort of suffered from not having any of this concert income. So don't feel pressured, but thank you.
All right, so I hope you can hear that a little bit. It's a quiet little piece. Uh, it's an arrangement of the spiritual steal away, and it's really, really pretty. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this next one is a um, an Appalachian folk song uh, called uh, Blue Ridge Reel, and um, this is one that uh, we're working on making a one of those fancy compilation video things of this song. Um, they learned this all individually, and we've just recently put it together. But this is Blue Ridge Reel uh, by Brian Baumages. Symphonic band. I don't want to skip things. All right. So um, we have okay. Yes, yeah, so we have two. We have three more things that we're going to do. So we have a combined performance between the high school band and the high school choir, and we're going to do the alma mater. We've never actually done this as a concert piece, um, but the the Bear High School alma mater, which is a, like a school song. Um, it was written by the first band director, Mr. Don, Don Worski. Uh, some of you may know Don. Um, and uh, he wrote the, the words and music to this 25 years ago or something. And um, all that was left 
um, of it was there was a, a, a single melody line and then piano part uh, chords. And um, I took that and made, I wrote the band part years ago from that. And then uh, a previous um, uh, piano accompanist that we had actually wrote out the choral part for that. And then now we're, we're performing this together. So this is Bearver Alma Mater uh, as sung by VR Voices and performed by Bearver Symphonic Band. to uh, the flowers here. So we have one more song, but before we do our final song, uh, I wanted to recognize our seniors. Uh, we have, I always choke up you now. This is, it's just, you know, the sign, the, the stuff's been blowing around all day long. Um, we have a small group, and we have a small group of seniors, but uh, these people are really special. And um, so I'm just gonna um, uh, announce each of them, have them come forward. I'll kind of say which groups they've been in, what they've been a part of. Um, while, you're, while we're doing this, and you may have already been looking, uh, if you're on that um, app that has, or that web page that has the program, if you scroll down to this part of the program, it has the seniors listed and their links, and you can click on them, and it'll take you to a little bio that they did of themselves. Um, some of them are a little more, and some of them are a little less, but it kind of goes with their personality. <laughs> so, um, but if you're interested to kind of look through that and, and see a little bit about these seniors. So, um, first off, I guess we'll just go, I'm not going to go alphabetical or anything, and I'll have you guys come up. It's a long tradition that started in choir to give the seniors a rose before there was any TV shows where that might have happened, so there's no weird connotations here. Um, the, <laughs> this goes back 30 plus years, bear of choir of, of the seniors getting a rose. So um, we're going to start uh, with the band, and um, so Eric Romero, uh, 12th grader, he's been in the program for four years. He's been a member of symphonic band, of jazz band, of starlight band, and then all the other little bits and pieces like marching and pep band and all that kind of stuff. So he's done all the things. Come on up, Eric. And we're gonna do, I can't go very far, you have to come to me. We're just gonna do the, the, the I normally hug them, but I'm not really supposed to, so we'll just kind of do the elbow thing. And uh, then another senior in band, Noah Dunhauer. Uh, Noah's been in the program for, well, he's over in, okay, now he's in the choir. We can't keep track of where this guy's at. Um, so Noah um, has been in the program for four years. He's been a member of symphonic band, jazz band, starlight band, uh, BR Voices, and Jazz Unlimited. So that's five groups, but keep count because there might be someone who's got more than that. Um, not many, though. Noah, come on up. <laughs> I'm just going to say it right now so that I don't forget. Yeah, Noah, go, go stand by Eric. <laughs> Noah wants me to announce that the, um, those who it's okay with their parents, uh, the kids are meeting up at high school kids, are meeting up at Mel's after. It's kind of a tradition. So, uh, if it's okay with your parents and you all have approved drivers, all that stuff, you know. There I said it. Emmy um, Christensen, 
Oh, I shouldn't have gone to Emmy next. Emmy Christensen, though. We're going to go to Emmy next. <laughs> Emmy, so... Emmy has been in symphonic band, jazz band, um, starlight band a little, <laughs> starlight band, BR Voices, Jazz Unlimited, and Starlight Express. So she's done the singy dancey part of Starlight and the backup band part of Starlight. She's done both. So, yes, Noah, you've got five groups. That's pretty good. But Emmy has got six. <laughs> Emmy Christensen. The elbow thing makes it less teary, so I like that. Um, okay, who's the next person I see? Sofia Cienfuegos. <laughs> Sofia has been a member of Symphonic Band, of Jazz Band, of Starlight Band, of BR Voices, and Jazz Unlimited. So she's, she's pretty good there. She doesn't have six, but I mean, that's... <laughs> but she also plays the oboe, which is, gets bonus points. Susie Loden. Oh, it's Loudon. I'm sorry. I keep going back and forth in my head. I'm sorry. Um, Susie's been in for two, two, two years. And she's been a member of BR Voices and Starlight Express, including Mini Starlight, which is an honor. <laughs> Susie Loudon. And Caden Wilson. Caden has been a member of, I think, Women's Chorus, back when that was a thing. So she's the only one here that's from that group. Um, Women's Chorus, BR Voices, Jazz Unlimited, and Starlight Express, Caden Wilson. keeping us going during this hard time you know it was a lot more um fun without covid but you know still pretty fun with covid and so i want to give you some love for your hard work and your dedication to the choir and the band round of applause for mr Aaron! So the final song um, is called We Can Dream, which seems like a good, good like, title for nowadays. Um, but uh, this is a song that began with the, with the choir at Magnolia. And it was a song we had a little bit ago, and we like, learned it and then kind of put it away. And then we were thinking of things to do for this. And we're like, you know, that song We Can Dream, that seems like a good closer. And, but it's like almost a two-part choral song, you know, it's like a pretty simple song. So it, it, um, I turned it into, now it's a four-part choral song with full band, um, and we still keep the piano accompaniment in there, but I, I did a little tinkering on it so that we could include everybody. I wanted to have everybody on the field doing one final finale to get, I guess a final finale is a little redundant, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, so this is We Can Dream and featuring all of everybody. Thank you. 
So thank you all very much. That's the end of our show. Um, the kids do need to help with getting chairs and everything off because this isn't our normal practice room. Um, so if you could give them maybe about 15 minutes. And for you guys who know what you're doing, we only really need to load it into the trailer like we've been doing. Um, so yeah, you can do it quick. Thank you. <laughs>